Making best friends is as easy as going into your own backyard, but wildlife needs to stay wild. Here are some friends who are really wild. These happy chimps are frolicking about in acres of forest at Chimp Haven, a Louisiana-based chimpanzee sanctuary. Do you know where chimpanzees come from and why they're so important? Chimpanzees live in equatorial Africa, which is all of the Central African countries. They used to be very widespread, but now there's probably between 150 and 200,000 chimpanzees in the wild. They are an endangered species, and it's mainly because of habitat loss in the bushmeat trade. Chimpanzees are kind of a keynote species in large habitats because protection of them usually protects all of the species in their area. So what's the biggest difference between a monkey and a chimpanzee? Monkeys have tails, and apes don't. A chimpanzee is a member of the ape family, which includes bonobos, gorillas, orangutans, as, as well as us. These chimps were once used in biomedical research, and thankfully, because there are new methods of testing, they were able to retire here at Chimp Haven. Chimp Haven is, is the, the first national chimpanzee sanctuary, and we're really developing our programs and the facility and everything, really to be a model for others who are interested in developing these types of sanctuaries. And we're actually saving taxpayer money by developing this facility to take care of the chimpanzees at a much less expensive way than they would be if they were left in the laboratories. In 2000, the CHIMP Act was passed, and that's a law that actually puts forward the idea of funding and operating a chimpanzee sanctuary for chimpanzees that have been used in medical research. And this is the first time this has ever happened for any research animal ever. It's really a change in the way we feel responsible for animals and our ethic toward animals, I think. We aren't an attraction. We aren't a zoo. We're a sanctuary. We're a retirement home for chimpanzees. One of the goals of Chimp Haven is to provide the, these chimpanzees that are being retired with a more species-typical environment uh, so that they could display more natural behavior such as climbing trees, making nests, and living in their large social groups. We have a couple different missions here at Chimp Haven. Um, the primary mission, of course, is to take care of the chimpanzees, but our secondary mission is, is education. At Chimp Haven, uh, we don't do any medical research, of course, but we still are learning a ton about the chimpanzees. In fact, the environment we're giving them is unlike any place in the world in captivity. And so we're learning how these chimpanzees that come from all different backgrounds, how do they adapt to this environment and what can we do to encourage the behaviors that they would show if they were in the wild. Chimpanzees will termite fish in the wild and so we might provide them with an enrichment device so they can termite fish. Typically we'll fill the devices with different things, oatmeal, raisins, honey, that sort of thing. Amy and her staff train the chimpanzees with positive reinforcement techniques so the veterinarians can examine the chimps for any necessary care. We interact with the chimpanzees, but everything here is protected contact. There's always a barrier between us and the chimpanzees. Aw, they're cute enough to take home. Chimpanzees don't make very good pets. I think a lot of people have a huge fondness for chimps just like I do, um, but they see them on television often. They're babies. They're very small. They're very cuddly looking, but they're wild animals just like any other wild animals, and they grow up and they display the behaviors that a wild animal displays. Chimpanzees can live up to 60 or more years. Most of the chimpanzees we have here are older chimps. They're in their 30s or 40s or even older than that. We have chimpanzees here that are over 200 pounds and they're probably about seven times stronger than a person. So they're incredibly um, powerful animals. I've known some chimpanzees much longer than I've known a lot of people and I certainly consider some of the chimpanzees to be my very best friends. You can be a best friend to a chimpanzee ready to retire. There are hundreds of them waiting. We have programs to to help fund directly the movement of the chimpanzees that are waiting in the laboratories to retirement at Chimp Haven. I think we owe them uh, a really fitting retirement home like what we built at Chimp Haven.